What's up, dudes? So, me, the woman here, and then Pops are all gonna be going down to Carlsbad State Beach tonight, and we're gonna be doing some surf fishing. Now, I did a little bit of research, and it says that during the new moon to full moon moon cycle, you have optimum fishing conditions, and then also, high tide is basically the best time to be surf fishing. So, tonight is the new moon, uh, May 11th, it's new moon, we're gonna be going at about 7.30, the peak high tide is at 9.30, so we're gonna fish the two hours that it's coming in and then probably the two hours that it's going out at the peak. So we're probably gonna be there from about 9 or 7.30 to 11.30. So let's see if uh, doing a little bit of research actually helps with uh, results because, well, let's face it. I mean, you guys have seen my videos. We're not catching any big <laughs> gigantic fish. And uh, there has been plenty of videos that I didn't post that uh, I caught nothing. <laughs> because apparently fishing midday on the beach not optimal not optimal at all so we're gonna try something new and see if it pays off all right see you out there all right everybody we are here at Carlsbad State Beach and we are about to kick some fish booty we're about to walk out onto the sand as we speak did you grab our jackets yeah, in the yeah. Uh, so uh, preparations have not yet been made, and I will get back to you when they are. All right, we got first catch of the day. Oh, it's one hundred percent in the seaweed. Oh, damn! Snapped it. All right, reel it. Hyped up over seaweed. Tell the camera how hyped you were over seaweed. Real, babe? It was cool again. I think I might have just gotten a bite. No, I don't think I did. Send it back out. So I took one of these little little glow sticks for, for the bells on the tip of the pole, so like the indicators, and these are for night fishing. And so I took one of these tiny little glow sticks and shoved it into this lure to see if maybe it'll light up underwater and then maybe attract a little bit more attention. But like, it's like a little bluegill lure. If anything, that should give this a little bit more attention because you can see it underwater. Here we go. Whoop. Whoop. So I'm going to check my pole. I'm going to check my pole and see. Because I haven't checked it in a little bit. I might not even have bait anymore. I'll name my bait. So we'll just see if we can cast it out as far as possible. Woo. Over. Some re-wipage. Nice. Uh. Stupid that, seaweed. That was team effort. Oh my god. This seaweed is horrible. Oh, well, at least that one came off easy. No, I think I just caught seaweed again. Oh, wait, no, I caught a fish. I got a ray! I got a ray! Yeah. I did. Check out this little guy. Alright. Watch watch his little watch his tail. Stinger. Yeah. Hey Pops, you got pliers? Alright, yeah, maybe I'll just 
Out he goes. Check him out though. Tide on the outside. Woo. All right. Was that an exhilarating experience? No. Seemed pretty exhilarating all, to me. In all the bad ways. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully something other than a ray. There we go. That was out pretty far. Trying to pay a little bit more attention to my other pole. Mm, I don't know, it's going a little slack. I don't know if you can see the line. Hey, I got some. Yep, I definitely got something. All right, this feels like a fish. On the end, on the end. Ooh. Tighten up the drag a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I got something. Oh, what is that? It's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Yeah. Oh, it's a yellow fin. Oh, it's a croaker, a big one. There we go. Definitely legal size car. Actually, that might be too big. Hey, Pops, do you have your... Uh... There's no such thing as too big. Yes, there is. <laughs> Yay! All right, there we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Ooh, he came off. Hold it. Good. The waves are coming up. All right, there we go. There's a croaker. We're going to do a catch and cook. All right. Yeah, he's bleeding too much for me to actually put him back. I think he just ripped out of his gills. Ooh. Ew, what is that? Oh, they call them croakers because they make that noise. <laughs> like he's farting. <laughs> Check that thing out. Can I, can I take a picture of you? That's definitely not bigger than... He's bleeding. Yeah, he's bleeding bad. That's, not a... That's a croaker. That's a, um, a croaker. A, ye a yellow fin is called. Turn your, no. Turn your yellow. thing sideways to my thing. I can't. My GoPro needs it. I know, but hold on. Can I take this? That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Ah! Oh, my God. Wait, here, here. I know. I can see it. Love your, uh... There's no such thing as too big. Yes, there is. <laughs> There's a croaker. We're going to do a catch and cook. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's bleeding so much for me to actually put him back. I think he just ripped out of his gills. Have you? Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Right, there we go. First legal size. Sweet. All right, we're gonna kill this guy real quick. Ew. Not, oh, with my monster. And you might think that he's still alive, but that's just nerves. He's dead. All right.
right, so we are in the backyard. Got the fish prepared. Got the video for you before that. I'll probably speed that up a little tiny bit. Um, and uh, what I thought would be interesting, because I have always thought that it would be fun to cook over one of these little chimneys while it's hot, because this is supposed to be like a little chimney, and you throw a little pan over the top of that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it out because we've never done it, and it sounded like that, fun. With this, besides the fish. Here we are. We got this chimney ready and set. Got pan on top. Fire down below. Ooh. And we are about to throw the butter in the pan. Fancy dose of butter. Ooh, and it is heating up already enough. All right. This might actually work. Well, I don't know why it wouldn't work. It's fire. All right, we're gonna take Z. All right, we're gonna take the fish. Drop that in there. It's on a super low heat right now. Let's see if we can pump up the heat a little bit. That smoke is killing me. All right. And we are going to add in the onions. Gotta stand on the opposite side of that. All right, we got the onions. Oh, man, it's even getting me on this side. And then John Henry's East Texas style chicken and fish rub. Generous amounts of that. I definitely thought that I was going to have a little bit more heat going down here, but it doesn't seem like I'm getting very much heat at all. We'll, sp we'll split up a little bit more wood first, right? Maybe that's what I should have done to begin with. Put in smaller pieces instead of bigger pieces. Get hotter, burn faster. That's the only downside, though, is you just keep on having to load it. Oh, goodness gracious! All right, there we go. It's starting to bubble a little bit. Well, I think uh, that little bit of work might have actually paid off. All right, wash the plate off. Came back. Looks like the fish is pretty much done. I'm gonna try to get as much of the the fish out, leave as much butter in there as possible because I still wanna cook the onions because they are not done. Okay, so we're still gonna cook up those onions for a little bit. Taste test. We got yellowfin croaker and the onions coming up. Hmm. Oh no, it's actually pretty good. I might, it might have done a little bit, a little bit better if I were to use something a little bit more salty. Cause this Aloha chicken and fish rub this might, this just might not have enough salt to it. But the flavor of the fish itself is pretty good, but I do think that it'd probably be better if it was made with like, maybe like a, like a garlic salt or maybe like a Cajun seasoning. Pops, try this out. So I gave my verdict on it. Let's see what Pops is. How is it? Oh, hot. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. See, he likes the white fish a little bit more than oh. I do. I'm not as I'm not as big of a fan of the white fish. I would eat this fish again, but to make it better for me myself, if you're not 
as much of a fan of the whitefish, you could put salt on it or we're gonna try this. Forgot that I had a lime sitting right here. So we're gonna try, I'm gonna try putting a little bit of lime on it and seeing how that turns out because that might make it way better. Do the whitefish with the lime. See if maybe the lime suits my flavor palette. Yes. Okay, so I would either go with lime or a little bit more salty because that made it like so much better. This is amazing now. All right. All right add those grilled onions. And voila, we have the onions and the fish. Yeah, I should have made the tacos. Yeah, we're seeing great fish tacos there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, with the onion, that is bomb. All right, and we have the last little bite of the fish right here. Mm, with some of the onions still left over. And then what I did this time just because I'm not crazy about the lingering fish taste in my mouth. Cut up some fresh mango as a little dessert to go along with it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the catch and cook, <laughs> my catch and cook video. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll see you next time. Left you out.